Hi internet. So recently I finally jumped into Framer by live streaming my first time experience. Coming from using Webflow for over a decade, it felt similar in some ways and different in others. So today I'll recap the five things I've learned that will help you if you're looking to expand your knowledge coming from Webflow and going into Framer. All right, first up, Framer is more of a designer's tool than a developer's tool. Just like Figma, everything you put on the canvas is positioned absolute until you add auto layout to it. As developers, we know that auto layout is just another way of saying flexbox. But instead of calling it flexbox, Framer calls it a stack. And just like Figma and other designer focused tools, you can zoom in and out of your artboard as well as see multiple artboards at the same time. Next, no classes. I'm still on the fence on whether this is a good thing or a bad thing. So just like Figma, and I'm gonna be saying this a lot, aren't I? I can make text styles and apply them across different text elements. You can also make components and I think that is how they're helping designers move faster without having to use class naming. And speaking of having to style multiple things at the same time, you can select multiple elements. Next thing I learned, no rems. For accessibility purposes, it's best to use root M's instead of exact pixels. Maybe this is something the Framer team is already working on, but you cannot use REM units. Next, you need a weird workaround for aspect ratios. For instance, if you want an element to be 16 by nine ratio, you have to set the width of the element to 16 pixels and the height to nine pixels. Then you have to lock the width and height together. Then finally click on fill for the width. And lastly, the code. Being a person who likes to see clean code that can be easily maintained, I look at Framer's code and it looks messy to me. But this is coming from someone who hasn't yet learned React. So I'm wondering, does clean HTML and CSS code even matter nowadays as long as the tool makes the website or app load quickly and can be easily maintained within the tool itself? I have yet to have a client project on Framer, so I may come back to this statement in the future. But those were the five things I've learned from this first go at Framer. I'm planning to do more streams and videos about Framer as I dive deeper into it. So thanks everyone for watching, and as always, thanks for making the web beautiful together. See ya.